So you're arguing that the ambiguities that exist in language w would suggest that, that they can't possibly constrain our thoughts. Exactly. I think mm -hmm. the, there's, in fact, most of us don't even uh, realize how ambiguous mm -hmm. language is, and that's why it's been so hard to program computers to have a conversation. We think each sentence has a meaning. You actually try to program a computer to do it, and the computer will find 19 meanings mm -hmm. and, and won't know which one you had in mind. But those are uh, really below our level of awareness. Mm -hmm. Well, in a way, I suppose it's uh, close to a miracle that we can sit here and have this conversation and understand each other, and thousands of people I at some other point in time are going to be listening to some sort of electronic representation of this conversation, and they'll know what we're thinking. That, that's what, that is astonishing, that mm -hmm. people are just, noises are coming out of our mouths, and we could be narrating the play-by-play -play of a basketball game, or we could be talking about a soap opera plot, and they would just be slightly different noises. Mm -hmm. But human brains are capable of unpacking the meaning behind the noises to figure out, in our case, that we're talking about language itself. But we could have been talking about anything. Mm -hmm.